this is our new camera and I'm gonna go over a few reasons why I love this thing and why I'm so excited about it. Just to set your expectations, this is not a camera review. I'm not a camera reviewer. I wish I was, um, because then I just get to buy cameras all the time. First of all, let me just show you how you turn it on before we get into anything. Now don't get me wrong, the GoPro is super easy to turn on, but this thing, look at that. And then it just points straight to my face as well. I suppose the first thing to do is just get straight into doing some side-by-side -side stuff. So, this is the DJI that you can see, and this one is the GoPro. Now, they probably both look really good, but the difference comes when we take this audio away from the GoPro. So this is the GoPro, and this is the GoPro's audio, which is the big thing. And this is the DJI, and this is the DJI's audio, which you was hearing at the start of the video. I guess one of the biggest features with this camera is the fact that we can just set it down now. I can actually help the kids. Come here. <laughs> and this thing will just track me, as well as getting perfect audio as well. That is my favorite, favorite thing. Now, obviously it doesn't look like a GoPro, because it's a gimbal, it's a built-in gimbal, uh, which means that I can do shots like this. Now the, um, the GoPro is super stable. It's been amazing. But the GoPro uses electronic stabilization. So when it's getting dark like now, like <laughs> Demi's gonna laugh at me, but the sunset is going down there. So it's actually getting quite dark now. But because this is a gimbal and not using electronic stabilization, you don't get that weird like artifact thing. I'm the worst camera reviewer. <laughs> this is just me being excited. I'm very, very excited. Now here's a perfect example of where we will still use the GoPro because this camera is not waterproof in the slightest. So if I want to get a shot like this, I mean, absolutely terrible shot. But if I want to get that shot, I'm definitely not gonna be using this camera. I've kind of run out of things to say. Oh, there's a, um, there's a, a time-lapse mode where you can set like start and a beginning point, which I'll try now actually, and I'll show you that. I should have made notes of what I was gonna say. Now, as it really is getting quite dark now, this is probably a great chance to show you how good this thing is. I mean, that still looks pretty good, but like if I start running now, I don't know how that's gonna look. DJI, GoPro. And this isn't even in low light mode. This has got its own dedicated low light mode, but I prefer this mode because then I can shoot in the flat color profile. If you don't know what that means, I'll show you what D-Log looks like, Rec 709, and then a heavy color grade. I think there's still loads I don't know about it or know that it can do, so we'll just keep getting better. There is actually one thing I forgot to say, so I'm gonna have to switch to the GoPro to show you this really cool feature. So say I'm filming myself like this, like I am, then I can literally go, whoop, hit continue. And now I'm filming Instagram Reels and I can still tap my face and it will still track me. Now it's got a little bit darker and I feel like maybe my point before 
wasn't um, valid. If I start running now, DJI, GoPro, DJI, GoPro. Or I turn the cameras around and run towards the kids. Let's run towards the kids. I feel like that should be pretty light and day, which is which. Makes a big, big difference. And it is really quite dark now. Um, so I really will end the vlog. <laughs> Until next time, bye bye. Say bye, darling. Say bye. Bye. Okay. <laughs> bye, everybody.